Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the best Achmal fragrances. Yes, Achmal is big here in the UAE. And this brand is already for 60 years on the market. Mm. And I really respect Achmal fragrances because they're not a cloning brand or anything. No, they do unique things. And they have different fragrances in different price ranges. So they go for inexpensive to normal to expensive. Listen guys, Achmal has everybody covered. Now gentlemen, let's get into the video. Grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position. And let's get into it. And at number seven, we got Dan Oud Al Shams. Yes. The reason why this is at number seven is because this is not a safe blind buy for the Americans. Western people, listen, this is really oody. Imagine like those oud oils, like those little ones that the people put like a dab in their neck and it's a little, it smells animalic, very woody, very skanky. That is in here. Like literally, Nothing is added to it. No flowers, no sweetness. No, this is oud. Oh, just hardcore oud. Now, the dangerous thing is, I love it. I really love oud and I don't smell any skank in oud anymore. Normal people, they do. Okay, so I have asked a couple of normal people like, hey, is this skanky or is this normal? And people said, no, Michelle, this is skanky. So this is really for people that know Oud fragrances, or if you want to try oud, if you want to dive into oud, you can use this as well, but then I would use this as layering. So if you are just getting into oud fragrances, I would try to do like a half a spray in my neck, but then spray another fragrance over it, like a sweet designer fragrance or anything like that, that I would put over it. Put it on your skin, but really let it settle for an hour because the longer oud is on your skin the more beautiful it gets and especially when your body starts to heat up then you have a very nice woody scent but if you are new with oud i would use this for layering now longevity with this stuff is beast mode this one <laughs> you need a shower to get this one off of you that is how strong this one is so longevity is uh, tw above 12 hours i would easily say like 24 hours and projection is beast mode you don't need much of this fragrance so for oud lovers get this one and if you want to try oud get this one as well but use it for layering and the best layering combination with this one is Archmal Evoke Night Edition for Women. Yes, this stuff is beautiful. And although, where is women on it? Was this? Okay, so you don't see that it, this is for a woman on the bottle. But on the box, you see that it is for her. But don't let that scare you away that you think like, oh my God, no, only women can wear it. No, listen, this stuff is super sexy. Oh, this one is really one of my favorites. This fragrance reminds me of a cross between Montal Intense Café, Montal Roses Musk, also Montal Dark Purple and Versace Eros. <laughs> that is what it reminds me of because, and I'm not saying that it is a clone of Montal or anything, this one really goes its own direction. But if you love Montal fragrances that I have just mentioned, then you're going to like this one as well. So think of a fresher Intense Cafe and it is still sweet, but it is not that creamy as Intense Cafe. This is more sweet, more peppery and fresher. That's what this one is. It is rosy, it is musky, it is peppery and minty fresh but the good mint not toothpaste mint no it is like that versace eros mint that's in here now try this layering combination it is beautiful but on its own it's really good as well longevity is around 10 to 12 hours with a above moderate projection don't let the her on the box scare you away guys Try this one out, it's really good. Okay, and then at number five, it is simple, but it is good. We got Shadow Eyes. This is a very nice, fresh, all year round kind of a fragrance. And this shines the most when it is super hot outside. Like literally, 
Dubai weather in the summer, this keeps you cold. Oh, beautiful. Mainly what you're going to get with this is a very sharp citruses with a lot of musk. And this is what ladies love to smell on a man because you smell clean, fresh, masculine. And ladies love clean and fresh, especially when it's super hot in the summer because mainly they're going to walk around and smell stinky people. But boom, there you are, a big cloud of freshness. And look at the bottle. The bottle is pretty cool as well. There's ice in a bottle. Longevity with this one, a little, a little. longevity with this one is really good as well. It is six to eight hours. So six to eight hours, you get a good projection of freshness. And projection, this one does because it's really strong. If you want the easy to wear all year round kind of a fragrance, but smells super good in a hot summer days, then try this one out. And guys, I have sprayed a couple of fragrances already, but you know that my whole room smells of this. <laughs> That's how strong this one is. And at number four, we got Song of Oud. Now this one goes into a little bit more of their luxurious line. Also, the bottle is super heavy and the cap as well. Oh, but honestly, honestly, you smell that this is more expensive. Oh, this is that type of a fragrance that I love to smell on a man. Now this is unisex. All of their fragrances are pretty unisex actually, but I just have in my mind, like this is super sexy on a man in the summer because this is a very Arabian fresh oud kind of a fragrance. So you get fresh citruses, slight skankiness, slight, just a little bit. Normal people can wear this, just so you know. And when you catch this in the air, the oud is beautiful in the air. And this is masculine. This is power. POWER! So it is a very luxurious, fresh fragrance. And the main notes that you're going to get with this fragrance is bergamot, apple, ginger, orris, amber, musk, and patchouli. Now, an oud is not listed in the notes, but wood is definitely what I smell. And if I need to give you a vibe of what this fragrance smells like, imagine oud for greatness, but then for the summer, fresher and stronger. That is what this is. And more manly. Now, longevity with this one is easy, 16 plus hours. This is not going to leave you. It is super strong. This fills a room and this fragrance is unique. Definitely try this one out. And at number three, we got Wissal Lyal. Lyal? Lyal. I have no idea how do you how do you exactly say it, but um, I have had in the past a silver one of this, I think Wissal, and then a gold one, Wissal Dahab. It smells like, oh, this is so good in the air. Man, I'm telling you. Those fragrances are in here as well, but now they have amplified it Oud is in here and more spices. So they made it more masculine leaning. Now I must say this is really unisex. Women can wear it, men can wear it. I'm just saying it leans a little bit more on the masculine side because of that spicy, woody, leatheriness that's in here right now. But it is fruity, woody, musky and sexy. This stuff is sexy, man. And the main notes that you smell with this fragrance is blackcurrant, apricot, woods, leather, rose, osmanthus, patchouli, oud, and musk. If you like Tom Ford Black Orchid, then you would like this one as well. But in my opinion, this one is better because of the fruits that's in here. But also this one is fruity, earthy, dark, and woody. This is actually a unique scent. I can't really compare another fragrance to this. This is just that type of a fragrance that you need to smell. Sexy stuff, longevity is above 12 plus hours. This one also didn't leave my skin. And also this stuff fills a room. Try this one out. All right, then at number two, we got Rhythm of Oud. Oh my God, this scent? This is really something unique, guys. Because in the air, you get tropical coconuts. Very fruity, but up close, oh, you get leather. <laughs> it is so weird. But also this fragrance is very unisex, but masculine leaning. And I love unisex masculine leaning fragrances the most. It's tropical and sweet in the air because people will ask you what kind of a tropical fragrances you are wearing and they will say coconut. But it's spicy, dark and heavy when you come close to it. So just so you know, it does two things. And the main notes that I smell in this is coconut, leather, 
a mask. I've looked up the notes. There is no coconut in this fragrance, but I smell it. Creamy coconut leather, actually. <laughs> but this stuff, when you wear this, this is really sexy, sweet, and mysterious. And the smell is expensive and luxurious. And the main notes that you smell with this fragrance is saffron, cardamom, patchouli, cedarwood, musk, and leather. Also this fragrance, it is super unique. Nothing come close with what this smells like. I cannot compare it to one fragrance, not at all. And this is a very fun fragrance as well because in the air and up close, it does something different. And also throughout the hours, it changes a lot. Now longevity for this one, 16 plus hours. And projection is really loud with this fragrance because when I tested it, I only sprayed one spray on my arm and my friend was saying, hey, are you wearing S Boy by Draco, the tropical fragrance? I said, no, I'm wearing this one. So again, in the air, it's tropical, up close, it's dark, heavy, masculine. But this stuff is a big, 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 big compliment getter and fills the whole room, definitely. Try this one out. And then my number one, guys, you know it. It is Achmal Amberwood. This is very classy, very professional. <sighs> this is very smooth, woody, and hints of freshness in the background. But also, you know, that spicy Middle Eastern edge to it. Now, and the main notes that you smell are cedar, apple, lavender, pepper, with a hint of cardamom and orris. All year round, dominant boss scent. If you like Parfums de Marley Leighton, not that this is a clone or anything like that, but keep it in your mind. Parfums de Marley Leighton, younger, fresher, and this you can wear all year round and smells more luxurious as well because of the cardamom is toned down, so it's not so old school, and the orris that they've added to it. It's perfect. So imagine a fresh all year round kind of a version of that, but again, it's not the same. This fragrance is totally different, but if you like it, you're gonna like this one as well. This is one of those fragrances that can be disliked, like at all. I've never had uh, a woman smell this one or one of my guy friends and they say, oh, I don't like this. That has never happened with this fragrance. This is super likable. And the longevity with this one, it is super strong. Also this one fills a room and is a big compliment getter. Easy 16 plus hours and a heavy projection. Guys, if you want to know my number one Achma fragrance, it is this. This is just a fragrance that you need to have in your collection. Collection. Like you need it right now. All right, gentlemen, this was the fragrance video of today. My top seven Achmal fragrances. Guys that live in the UAE, go to the stores, try these fragrances out. These are the best. And for the Americans, you can get these in stores as well. Try them out and see you in the next video. Bye bye.